Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and welcome back to KSNT News. I do apologize for the cooler weather out there this evening. It's going to be another cold night, but I do promise some warmer weather waiting for us in the seven day forecast. Currently in town, it is 44 degrees. A couple hours ago, we warmed up to 50. It was a frosty start this morning, 28 degrees. Uh, sunset time this evening is 754, but not a lot of sun out there right now. Lots of clouds because of that passing cold front. However, the air will be super dry tonight, and that argues for clearing skies. So your overnight planner, look at something like this. During the evening hours, some 30s and 40s by midnight, 34. And by dawn tomorrow, another frosty one, 28 degrees. But hey, at least we'll be seeing a lot more sunshine on tap tomorrow. Weather headlines also look like this. Some breezy skies. Those winds try to relax a little bit tonight. I think they will, but by dawn tomorrow, those southwest winds are back and they'll be gusting in a major way by the middle part of the week, and that's why we start to warm things up in a big way, too. I think by Wednesday and Thursday, you can expect some 70s, if not 80s, in the forecast for the first time this season. There was a chance for a rain snow mix again, maybe as early as Friday, but it looks like a better chance Saturday night into Sunday morning. Good old fashioned a springtime cold front. However, temperatures will not be staying cool for long. I think finally the weather pattern is breaking in a spring direction. Here's our KSNT satellite and radar. Skies dry this evening. We actually missed out on a rain chance with that cold front uh, earlier on today, early afternoon. A couple hundred miles to our south and west was the rain. Now it is left northeast Kansas to the south and east. Temperatures tonight, what you see is what you get. We are cooling again north to south because of those north winds. 39 degrees in Hiawatha, 44 in Topeka. Temperatures now south of I-70, right around 50 degrees, 50 in Coffee County, and 51 in Olpe and Emporia. Future track temperatures, let's watch the time stamp up in the title. That's 8 o'clock this evening, so a couple hours from now, notice the 30s and 40s, and by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, get ready for another frosty start. Temperatures mid to upper 20s, maybe some low 30s too. Tomorrow afternoon, we're watching our western counties, the Flint Hills, a couple cities out there, Clay Center, Manhattan, Fort Riley, and Junction City. You guys may be flirting with 70 degrees. Those breezy southwest winds are back tomorrow. This is Tuesday afternoon at 1.30. Notice about 15 to 25 miles per hour. We do it all over again tomorrow night. Those winds start to relax, but by Wednesday, this is Wednesday midday, close to lunchtime, that dark blue color on future track wind, 20 to 30 miles per hour. So it's not just the April sunshine warming us up. It's a lot of help from those breezy south winds. But for tonight, we fall back down at 28 degrees. Those clouds right now, they'll be out of here by dawn tomorrow. So skies are clearing heading into Tuesday. High temperatures for tomorrow afternoon 65 to 70 you just saw that on future tracks so we are even warmer than we were today and the temperatures not stopping there 79 degrees on wednesday and still not stopping 80 to 85 on thursday Again, the price we pay will be those winds, so you might have to tie the hair back or hold on to those hats through the middle part of the week. But this is the warmest weather that we've had so far this season. On Friday, my favorite temperature, 75 degrees. There's that cold front brook for the weekend, 50s, but notice early next week, close to 70 again. So I finally think some of this weather is starting to break just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Kansas weather, it's always a roller coaster. That's right. Well, it's